glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. But now God knows anything goes. Good authors, too, who once knew better words, now only used for letter words, writing prose. Anything goes. Hey everyone, I'm Judy Alkind with Cal TV Entertainment and today we're at the Golden Gate Theater in San Francisco where the National Broadway Tour of Anything Goes is currently running. I'm here with Eric Bergen and Alex Fink, so tell me a little bit just about your characters. What, what are we? We are star-crossed lovers on the uh, SS American. Um, I, I play uh, Billy Crocker, he's a young um, uh, Wall Street broker, a playboy uh, businessman type, but underneath he's really a um, uh, uh, romantic, he's fallen for a Bill Parkwart. Yes, and I play Bill Parkwart, who's a young debutante, and I'm sailing on the SS American with my mother and my fiancé, and uh, the trouble sort of begins for me when I realize that the man I fell in love with, Billy, is also on board the ship. So, that's where our and the problems Story ensue. Begins. And you mentioned the Cole Porter songs. There are really so many great ones in there, but do you have a favorite, maybe one that you sing or one of someone else's? Oh, God. I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> it, it's hard to choose. I mean, there's, you know, for me, I always love the overture. I mean, the classic thing of the audience coming in, sitting down, the lights going down, and a, you know, a huge Broadway orchestra uh, playing the samples of the music you're about to hear and sort of really bringing you into the environment of this show and of that time. Um, it's such a great sort of show busy thing to hear every night. How was it um, working with Kathleen Marshall and having her as director? I, you know, I found out I was going to be doing the show with her and I, I didn't even really know how to react. And I remember sitting there the first day meeting her and she's talking to us about our characters and I'm sitting next to Eric and Rachel and she's talking to me and Thinking focus, Alex focus. <laughs> Listen to everything she's saying, and she was so incredibly lovely and wonderful to work with. I think the most fun, one of the fun stories about her, I remember from rehearsal, was when the ensemble learned that uh, anything goes never the finale of Act One. She was up with them, with the dancers, running that number every single time. It's like an eight-minute dance break, right. and she was doing it every single time with them. So. Uh, not only a, a lot of respect, but um, wow, <laughs> she's still got this dance job, so it's pretty cool. This experience compared to maybe past work you've done? Or For me, it's always great seeing people who didn't expect to like it, mm -hmm. who, who come out loving it. That's my favorite part. But I don't know, it's just fun. I mean, that's the thing about this show. It's just goofy, fun. I really had zero expectations coming in. It was all a very big adventure, and it's been absolutely phenomenal to do the show and people often ask, are you tired of it? Do you do that every single night? And I have not gotten tired of it at all because it's such a fun show and the audience is always so interactive and you know, we also just have such a warm company that we all just really get along. It's been really great. Any other characters in the show? Though I'm sure you love your own. Who would that be? Oh, I haven't got that question yet. <laughs> I would want to be Evelyn. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's a fun I'd want to be Evelyn, yeah. for sure. We would both want to be Evelyn. All right, I'll do act one, you do act two. Great. Cool. Well, thanks for sitting down with us. Sure. And have a great run for the rest of the show. Thanks. Thank you. It. Thanks for having us. Anything Goes is playing at the Golden Gate Theater until February 3rd, so come get your tickets and check it out.